Hey Floss Tube, I'm Kathleen and this is Situation Normal episode 10. I hope you guys had a good couple of weeks. If you are new here, I'm a new stitcher, so I'm kind of new, and but not really. This is episode 10, so I've been stitching for a little bit, but relatively new compared to the rest of you. And I love to tell stories about my stitching and I talk a lot, but I keep it to about a half an hour. So I have some sad news today. Um, there will not be a mom's minute because that well ran dry in terms of stitched pieces that she's kept. I've shown them all pretty well. There is a couple that like my sisters have, but I have a sister that lives in the States. Oh, I'm in Canada, by the way. I'm in Southern Ontario. We've had the most gorgeous weather here the last few weeks. And although I've been chained to my desk editing photos because I've had a really large wedding season in a short amount of time. And so I try and sneak out and stitch and sneak out and just lay out. I like to just lay in the grass sometimes. It's just, anyways. How we got to talking about the weather here in Ontario is my sister, she lives in the States and how is everyone in the States doing right now? Like, I know that's kind of a loaded question, but I just mean with the fires and the smoke and everything, I know a lot of the um, Washington, California people, you okay? Just checking in. I worry about everything. I worry about everybody. Anyways, my sister lives that end west coast and um they had some smoke but it cleared and i was happy to hear that because it's gorgeous this weather's gorgeous okay i've talked about the weather for this long but anyways so that sister that lives on the west coast she has a larger piece that my mom has stitched so maybe we might get another mom's minute segment another time in the future but as for now i've done most of it my mom might be screaming at her ipad right now being like no i have more what are you saying but if that's the case, that's fine. Um, yeah, so, okay, I'm gonna go through the comments, just a couple comments from last week's video. First of all, you guys all made me feel so special with my haircut and like color that was done, woo. I feel, this is like saucy, I feel saucy with this hair or like, like I'm trying to look young, I don't know, but I like it, it I love my hair. Um, Joelle, the 12, 12 strand bandit, she said that it made me look like Nev Campbell, like when I had it swooped over to the side, a la Scream 2. And I've never thought that before, but I totally see it now. And also I think they're making a Scream 4, or Scream 5. Yeah, Scream. I get that confused with I Know What You Did Last Summer, but, and I'm gonna watch that. Even though I get terrified, I have to see where it goes, right? Because I've started them all, so I need to know. If there's a fifth one, I need to watch it. I watched the fourth one. The fourth one was pretty good. Anyways, um, okay, and then this comment about my hair. Last comment about my hair. No, I'm so vain. Um, Lisa, 1968, she said that my haircut looks like the new Rachel. Like from Friends. Like, remember Rachel's cut in Friends, and they called it the Rachel? This is like the new Rachel. Like... I like to think that I'm super cool with this haircut. I'm not probably not original at all, but I am never going to forget that she said that this is the new Rachel and I'm going to like exude confidence because of that comment. Probably false confidence, but I don't care. I love it. So anyways, this is, a, I haven't curled my hair yet. I'm, we're gonna see how that goes. Wow, a lot of talk about my hair. We will cross stitch. We will talk about cross stitch. Um, okay, speaking of cross stitch, uh, Mary Ellen Vieira gave a really helpful tip that probably some of you um, more senior stitchers know. Senior stitchers? Seasoned stitchers would already probably know this tip, but it's for when you have to work with blended floss in a chart. A chart calls for a blended floss, which is you take one strand of one color, one strand of another, put them together and thread the needle. My husband always makes fun of my hand gestures, like in a loving way, I should say. And so now whenever I do one, I'm like, oh, oh, I did one, which is fine. But it makes me think of him. So anyways, in my little women chart, the Michael Jolly one, I have to do a lot of blending. And so I have to take, for example, like a purple strand and a strand of white and put that on a, th on a needle. So she said, make like a long one of it and just bobbinate it and label it. And then you don't have to like continue to fumble with fumble around with two different skeins you can just have your one ready so I thought that was a really good tip 
Um, again, probably some of you already know that, but if you didn't, I'm sharing information as I learn, and I thought that was really helpful. So thanks, Mary Ellen. Um, Carla Rowley, she left a comment on episode two just last week, though, so I don't think she's caught up, but um, she said that she bought a Little Women chart because it was her favorite book growing up, and so she got halfway through stitching it and did not have enough room. What a bummer. Like, that would just... She said she threw it in the garbage. It was the Paul Vaughan Little Women. So she bought the Michael Jolly one and has it kitted up and that is going to be her January 2021 start. So, Carla, you gotta join the Sal because we're Salling. There's like four of us doing this Little Women chart. So anyways, it'll be fun to have someone join. Even if she doesn't, even if Carla, you don't want to join, like I consider you doing it with us. So you can take that how you like. <laughs> Um, Anne Otten says that happy haunting. Okay, we're gonna talk about happy haunting, I guess, until, until, I don't know, maybe it's me just trying to really show it off. Okay, so, okay, um, before I show, it's changed again, of course, of course, because I just can't settle. But Anne Otten says happy haunting would do better in a wider frame with more a more simple background because I had like the orange like glittery like mesh I don't know what it was on there it was not a great choice it was fine but it was not the finish I was hoping for and so I took that advice actually um Diane Hahn also said the same thing so I was like okay I don't feel this is the right finish for the piece if you don't feel like it's the right finish you just you don't have to settle you can do better if you feel there's better so Everyone's probably screaming at me like, leave it alone. But I found this purple velvet material. This, I literally just tossed it on just so you could kind of get a, a look of it. I found this frame at the thrift store, which it may not be this frame, but this is like purple. I don't know if you can tell. No, it just probably looks black to you, but it pulls all the purples from in, in the chart itself. Pardon the tags and everything. And I kind of just like, like it like this even. I might add a cobweb or not, but this purpley like there. Oh, you can kind of see it's purple. It's like pretty. It looks rich, right? Maybe it's because it's purple. It's like royal. I don't know. So I think I might finish it that way now. So thank you to everyone. Um, if you love watching someone overthink things, please tune in next week and see if I've changed it. I hope I haven't, but maybe it's just done and I can put it up there because. This is the whole, oh, oh, this one fell off the boys. This is where my boys sit. Like in case you can't see like all the dirty marks on the wall, that's like my boys eat here and there's always food. This is like from the chairs scraping the back. I'll repaint at some point, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. So thank you everyone for the tips for fixing happy haunting. Not fixing it, but just, I don't know. I'm not good at finishing and I have ideas in my head, but I don't know how to execute. So I actually really like reading your comments with the feedback. So we'll see how that one goes. And the last comment before we get into stitch kindness and then my whips. Diane Duggan, she, has, she comments pretty regularly and I love it. I love it. Um, she says sampler September because remember I was like trying to set my sampler September goals reasonably She says that could be a sampling of a different piece just sampling a whole bunch of different pieces rather than one sampler, but I Found a sampler. We'll get to that. I'm really excited about it, too. So that's the comments um, Stitch kindness. So last week I talked about my sister Karen uh, She's the one that doesn't stitch and she really doesn't know anything about cross stitch. She doesn't even watch my videos really. Like she'll say she does, but she like kind of skims them. Like we'll see if she catches this. Who knows, me saying this. And then she'll be like, I watch your videos. You need to tell them that I watch. So <laughs> she can be sassy like that. But so she was in Victoria and she bought me a couple charts when she was there. And then after she was at the shop, she called me and she's like, hey, I got you a surprise. There was a stitch shop. I'm like, there is. I'm like, you have to go back please. And like put me on FaceTime and bring me into the store so I can look around. And so she was like, well, I'm going to dinner. So after her dinner, she brought me back to the shop and showed me around. And I had her buy a couple charts like for me that I will pay her for, for having picked up, which I'm gonna show in haul. But the Stitch Kindness, so this is what she just got me on, on like her own. So this is Gingerbread Quilty Ornaments by the Victoria Sampler, which is Taya Duick or 
Tia Duik? I don't know how you would say it, but anyways. Isn't that so cute? It just says one more stitch. It's like a woman just, it looks like a Christmas quilt and she just has to get one more stitch in. Isn't that like our life as stitchers? Like just one more stitch, just like one more row on my stitch. And then there's this like quilty pattern here. It's, there's some tricky stuff in there. So I don't think I'm gonna be stitching this anytime soon. However, I do look forward to when I'm more seasoned in my stitching and I can stitch this because like, I mean, I could probably do this one, but this one has some really intricate stitches. I'm gonna show you the back because like, look at all her stuff. I'm sure you guys know the Victoria Sampler already because I'd heard of her before. I just don't own any of her charts. So this is one that she picked just like, she went in blind and chose this and and then I'm really excited about this one too. Then she picked a Country Cottage Needleworks. It's autumn. I love that. It says pumpkins, apples, leaves, cider, harvest, baking. It's cute. It's so cute. So I have a feeling like, so we have two days left of September. Are there 30 days in September? Oh my gosh. Any, yeah, there's 30. So it's September 28th right now. Yeah, so two days. And then it's October and I and Elizabeth Ann can stitch, wants to do fall frenzy. And so I was like, oh, I won't have time. But now I'm just like, I'm going to Gita's tomorrow. I have an appointment booked at Gita's, which is in Mississauga. And like, I have a list of fancy floss because I'm gonna buy fancy floss for the first time. When I was booking my appointment, so you go online and you click, like, a t you pick a time slot, and then it asks, like, what is the purpose of your visit? And I gave her, like, the whole 411. I was like, I'm a new stitcher. I'm looking for fancy floss. It's going to be my first time buying fancy floss. I'm looking for these colors, blah, 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 maybe even fabric. I love to see your charts. Like, she probably was just like, give me a general, but I was very specific, so that'll be fun for her to read. But yes, so I am gonna do, I'm not gonna do all fancy floss, but I think I I think I picked uh, the green, like the grass, and maybe like, I picked two for this one, and then there's, for my other ones, for pumpkins for sale, I'm going to be getting the fancy floss, and for my September, sampler September, which I will, again, will show you. But anyways, I thought Karen, my non-stitchy sister, made some really awesome picks. I'm gonna put all the description of this stuff in the comments too, in case you wanna check it out. Then I have my friend, Teresa, Strictly Stitchy. She sent me a birthday package, which was so nice of her. She is doing the Little Women Stitch Along. Look, I'm not gonna show you everything she sent me because there was like just goodies, but I want, I have to show this. It's a Louisa May Alcott Little Women Needle Minder. Is it in focus, guys? Oh my gosh, sorry. I don't know. I could just put it on this. Okay, so the needle miter is from Gina's Unique Boutique. Oh, Unique Needle Miters. I wanted to say Unique Boutique. Maybe that's what, oh, it is on Etsy. It is Unique Boutique. Okay, so there it is. Isn't that so cute? So that's going on my Little Women, which I didn't work on at all this week because I just really want to get the TV done. Okay, and then she sent me last one. It's S'mores. Isn't that so cute? Oh, sorry, is that blown out? There we go. That's like a little s'mores needle minder. Again, so cute. And like I said, there was lots of different goodies in there, but, uh, but I wanna show this one, Friends Across the Border. Isn't this so cute? Pine Glen Designs. So it's like a little quilt pattern and it's got the red, white, and blue and then our little Canada maple leaf. So, that was so fun to open. Again, that wasn't everything, but okay. Hall, no, hall. How did I get to hall? We're not at hall. We are at my whips. Okay, so TV task card by Stitchrovia. I really was like, it's gonna be done this week. I'm gonna work so hard on it and it's gonna be done. It's not done guys, but I'm getting there. There's just so much intricacy that is left that like it's all this like white so I have to do I finished this last night this white all this white around here 
but I've got to get the bottom connected and then I have to fill this in and then there's a pink strip here that comes in so like this will be when I look at this I'll be like this is when I gave up and stopped trying to be neat with my stitches I also was stitching my mother's house which I do three strands and I do two strands on this because this is Ada this is pewter Ada 14 count and this is called for DMC <laughs> and so when I hop back into this because I did this for like a week solid and I was like I can't do this anymore I need to move on and then I came back to it yesterday and so I did this with three strands to here so it was two strands and then three strands filling this in and I will always remember that that was another moment when I gave up but I've been watching Murdoch Mysteries all week while I'm stitching which is if you don't know what it is it's a CBC show which is a Canadian show and it's like cheesy but we love it I love it so I can't stop watching there's 13 seasons they've got 13 seasons on Netflix and I'm on season four so hopefully this is like hopefully next week is the last the last week you have to look at that so stay tuned that might be the last time I get to say say stay tuned okay my mother's house by Kathy Barrick I just love it. I still just love it. I got a little bit done on it, of course. Well, I say of course. I don't, I think I'm maybe like understating how much work I have, like how much editing I have, which is fine. But like, I don't have time, but I'm making time to stitch somehow. I don't know how. Um, like I am stressed. I've broken out a little bit, which you probably can't even tell it and it doesn't matter because everyone's skin breaks out. But I'm like, that's a good indicator to me that I'm a little bit stressed, but I'm still like going every day somehow. Like I don't feel as stressed as I normally do. Anyways. Okay. So I finished this big flower and I put in this bird. I still have to put the eyes in, but I love it. I really do. I love the colors. I wonder if I'm gonna be saying I love it when I have to do like the giant chunk of black and like, or like the house, I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure I will though, because it's enjoy, it's, I'm enjoying it. And I like stitching on this. This is 25 count Lugana and I'm stitching with the called for DMC. It doesn't seem like it's DMC because they're really good choices. It looks more rich, I don't know. I keep saying rich, that's rich. That's gonna be the quote for today. That's rich. Okay, and then, like I said, I didn't do anything on Little Women. So this is my last whip. We have Home for Christmas by Little Dove Designs. It is so cute. So I just do a little bit on this every week. And so this week I started at the bottom. So the border is done. And then I did this, the little candy canes. And little hearts. I guess I can bring that closer. And there's like a little snow drift. So there's gonna be Christmas trees for next week. And yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. It's really fun, it's really quick. It's a quick stitch, I wanna say. So, I mean, I've spread it out because I'm stretching it out the way I have been, but I am really enjoying it. It's, it's a really fun piece. I'm excited to do, cause remember I got four by them, four Christmas ones by Little Dove Designs. Two of the other ones are similar like similar style like with like really cute little Christmas I don't know what you want to call them designs so and like borders and I like that so we'll see how that goes um okay haul let's see how I'm gonna show you but these beauties from Colleen who's Bella Love Designs on Etsy they are beautiful. These are probably the most beautiful scissors I have. Maybe some of you guys have these. I've seen them around a little bit, but I love them. And after I ordered these, then this week, she just added to her shop these leather sheaths that you can put your scissors in and they have polka dots on them. And like, they're all sorts of colors. They're really, really cute. So I might have to pick up a few of those. But yeah, these are my new scissors. They feel very sharp. I haven't actually cut with them, but the other ones I got from her were really, really sharp as well. 
I might have to calm down on the scissors. It's gonna be like my new frames where I just like buy everything. Okay, oh, the charts from Karen. So when she was in the shop and she brought me on FaceTime and I made her go through everything, I, I picked two charts for her to bring back. So, okay, I, when I first started stitching, actually it's in one of my earliest videos, I picked up a magazine from a secondhand store and there was a chart on it that I loved and there was a write-up about the woman Nancy Davis this is 2001 this magazine and it showed like tons of her work along with like how she got into it and her whole story and I was like oh my gosh I love all those this is from 2001 and they're still so like I would say current like I, they're currently popular and so I was like I wonder what she's up to now because this was 2001 and I found out that she passed away and it was really sad I was really upset about that actually and I didn't even know her I literally only just found her but um so I read her shop what not shop name her designer name I guess birds of a feather you guys probably all know her um they had them at the shop that Karen was at in Victoria British Columbia so I had to get this one holiday seasons I'm gonna have to change some of the stuff on it though because like I'll make that a Canada flag because we're still July but like I don't know about that um, and I think maybe that was the only thing I needed to change. What am I talking about? Anyways, aren't they so cute? Each of the seasons, like winter, spring, fall, autumn. Do you say fall or autumn? I want to know. And summer, of course. So these are so cute. These are all like, I think all her charts are weeks dye works. I don't have because I don't have any fancy gloss but there's a DMC conversion so I probably will keep that and then okay since I like doing that I seem to do that a lot sorry if it's annoying to everyone <laughs> the drum roll okay then I got this one so it's sampler which I'm going to do for sampler September which means I need to start soon well it doesn't mean that but I picked it that was my goal was to at least pick a sampler to be my next start and then my stretch goal was to kit it up. And I haven't done that, but I am going to Gita's tomorrow. So I mean, okay, so I think Terracotta, it's Weak Styleworks Terracotta. That's the color I think I'm going to get. The rest I'll probably do DMC. I didn't read it. It says, it has the alphabet along the top and the bottom. And it says, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And it's a Bible verse and I'm not a Bible person. I have read the Bible. Um, but I'm not a Bible person. I My beliefs are not based in like a an organized religion or anything like that. But I still like this. And I think the point I want to make, I guess, with since I've got myself into this situation of talking about religion, is that despite me having my own beliefs that are not based in religion, I respect those that have beliefs that are. And you can learn from others. I can learn from people who have religious centered beliefs and I'm sure that they can learn from people like me who don't. I like it. My mom is gonna be like, hey. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I've got myself kind of backed into a corner. But yeah, I'm really excited to start this. Yeah, I have, I have, I've, there was the B sampler I considered, but I feel like this will be a quicker stitch. And so it's 81 by 81. So, oh, it's a square. Yeah, I just, it's just really cute. So, okay. Um, how are we doing for time? We're doing really good for time. Um, oh yeah, I bought, okay, I don't have it with me because there's no cover photo for it, but um, Julie, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world, she made a chart called nine and I'll show it um and it's for Ruth Bader Ginsburg who passed away um I love Ruth as many many people do um I'm gonna make a movie recommendation if you don't know who the heck RBG is um it's called on the basis of sex meaning gender this is not an x-rated movie I'm telling you to watch <laughs> um but it's it shares a lot of her story and how she came to be who she was essentially and I just love how they portray her marriage to her husband Marner 
Mertner. <laughs> her, her and her Mertner. Her and her husband, Martin. And what I was going to say is that they were equal partners in their marriage, which at the time was not something that was very common. Women were not seen as equals. And I just love that they had that dynamic then. And yeah, anyways, okay, so the, I didn't even tell you what it says because I don't have it in front of my face, but it, the chart says, I'm gonna send, I'm gonna post a link to Julie so you can buy this chart if you wanna buy it, and you should because it's awesome. And it's, okay, so like the white, that's cause she always wore her fancy collars. What can all those fancy collars? Um, but it says, until there are nine. I think that's what it says, because I don't have it in front of my face. But that's a quote because uh, Ruth was often asked how many times, or how many women will be enough women on the Supreme Court? And she said, till there are nine. Because there's always been nine men and it's never been a question, so. It's just her cheeky little cute way of saying you can never have too many so yes queen to julie for making that and yes queen to ruth for being amazing okay oh and caroline at off the grid needle arts she said to listen to the audiobook in her own words which is ruth because she says that they don't read the transcript they don't have like the person that's reading the book read the transcript they just like actually play what was happening in the court at the time when it comes to those moments which I think is pretty cool okay I'm still frazzled from my comment before I I have okay this is basically what I want to say I hope that um what I try to do is I try to as I'm saying this, I'm like, you got to stop because you don't know where the sentence is going. I try to support and respect the beliefs of my family members that are centered in religious beliefs. And I hope that they, and they do, respect and love my beliefs, even though they aren't centered on religion. It's just about love, right? Okay, there we go. Hope that wrapped it up neat. Um, okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, these fabrics that I got. So this was, okay, before I got the purple, I got this blue fancy fabric for the Halloween piece. But then I, but then I had the purple one and I was like, oh, I got to get that purple. The purple is like, cause there's purples in the piece. So I have this for a rainy day. I have this for a rainy day. This is like, kind of like fall, right? I don't know. Cause you need fabric if you're going to be finishing. That's what I'm learning. And this, and now is this homespun? Because it's, Pardon the tag on that. Again, this is from the thrift store. It's on both sides. Does that make it homespun? I don't know. But this, I thought this was cute. This could be like Christmassy or fall. I don't know, but there's a lot of this. It, there's a lot, which I paid $3 for it. I like knowing, and so I always tell everyone. Okay, floss tubers. I feel like such an ingrate because two videos ago since I filmed, a floss tuber that I love gave me a shout out and I knew that she gave me a shout out and I was so excited and then I forgot to thank her in my floss tube which is what I like to do that's how I normally do things so um Lolly at Lollipop Stitchers um she gave me a shout out so thank you and I'm giving her a shout out because she's awesome she's one of the first people I started following on Instagram she loves Back to the Future and I'm obsessed with Back to the Future like since I was a kid um I'll insert a photo of me wearing my Back to the Future cutoff shirt because <laughs> I cut my sleeves off my shirt when I go kickboxing. Um, but yeah, she's super fun to have on Instagram. Uh, she has an Etsy shop too. Like she has a floss tube, but she also has an Etsy shop where she does like final bags and her fabrics are amazing. She's in the UK. I think I forgot to say that. And, but her vinyl bags, she makes masks. It's not a great time to go to her shop because I think I checked today and she had um, closed it just briefly. Like she's on a break, but check her out especially if you're in the UK, in the UK. Sorry, my words all frazzled. But yes, so thanks, Lolly. I'm almost done, Julie. Uh, again, that's Julie, who is Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. She's the one that made the nine chart that I just talked about for a long time, which I didn't know I was gonna talk about for a long time, but I really am passionate about Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And when I saw her chart, my little feminist heart just like fluttered. Um, but yes, so, and then I'm gonna be starting a new floss tuber. So like I've binged Julie's, like 
I'm editing at my desk so and I have two monitors so I put her on the bottom and I work at the top so I don't know who I'm gonna start but you guys have given me a lot of recommendations so I'm gonna take a peek at that list again and start someone new um also like Elizabeth Ann can stitch just made a new video so I gotta go so I can watch that but thank you for hanging out with me I love making these videos I love chit-chatting with you guys your comments are amazing every week I read them and honestly I think a lot of you were a lot of the message I got last week was just be yourself and in my head I'm like you can't handle myself but I'll be like a tame version of myself which is this which is a lot still if I'm extra sassy it's because I've been reading Jonathan Van Ness's biography that he just put out maybe last year and he's so sassy and then he just brings out my inner sass anyways um yeah so this is what I need to do I forget what I'm doing follow me on Instagram I post a little behind the scenes pictures and just random stuff basically it's like this <laughs> also Lolly if I did thank you like my brain this is how I live every day of my life is like did I do that did I not I don't know we'll find out um episode 10 can't believe it we hit double digits woo and yeah subscribe like email me my email address will be in the description if you want to chit chat there chit chat in the comments leave me comments I love them I love reading them so keep stitching your story and I will see you next time